Do you have what it takes to join the ranks of the FBI? Are you ready to face the challenges and demands of a career in federal law enforcement? If you're passionate about justice, committed to excellence, and willing to put in the hard work, then becoming an FBI agent might be the career for you. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of becoming an FBI agent, from the physical fitness and academic requirements to the specialized training and rigorous selection process. You'll get an inside look at the daily life of an FBI agent, the different career paths within the agency, and the qualities that make a successful agent. Whether you're interested in investigating cybercrime, combating terrorism, or working in a specialized unit, this video will give you the tools and knowledge you need to start your journey towards becoming an FBI agent. So get ready to learn, be inspired, and join the elite ranks of the FBI. Now what is the FBI? The Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI, is a federal law enforcement agency in the United States that works to protect the country from various threats, such as terrorism, cybercrime, espionage, and organized crime. The agency was founded in 1908 and operates under the jurisdiction of the United States Department of Justice. The FBI is responsible for investigating and enforcing over 200 categories of federal crimes, including public corruption, civil rights violations, and white-collar crime. In addition to its investigative and law enforcement duties, the FBI also provides intelligence and security services to other federal agencies and works with international partners to combat transnational crime. The agency is headquartered in Washington, D.C., and has field offices located throughout the United States and in several international locations. The FBI is known for its highly trained agents, advanced technology, and innovative techniques, making it one of the most respected law enforcement agencies in the world. If you're interested in becoming an FBI agent, the first step is to apply through the FBI's website at fbijobs.gov. You'll need to create an account and complete an online application, which includes basic personal information, educational background, and work history. You'll also need to pass a preliminary qualification exam to determine if you meet the basic eligibility requirements for the position, such as being a U.S. citizen and having a valid driver's license. To apply specifically for the position of special agent, simply use the search bar on the FBIJobs.gov website and type in special agent. This will bring up the job posting for special agent positions, which will provide detailed information on the qualifications, requirements, and application process. Be sure to read the job posting carefully and follow all instructions to ensure that your application is complete and accurate. Once you submit your application, you'll undergo a rigorous selection process that includes multiple rounds of interviews, background checks, and medical and fitness evaluations. The FBI is looking for individuals who possess a strong sense of ethics, integrity, and commitment to serving their country. If you're selected to join the ranks of the FBI, you'll receive world-class training and work alongside some of the most talented and dedicated law enforcement professionals in the world. Now I will touch more into detail about the qualifications you'll need and the steps you will undertake under the hiring process. Step 1. Application and Screening Attach necessary forms to your application, including transcripts and military enlistment contracts, if applicable. Applications are screened for eligibility and suitability. If currently residing abroad, travel to the United States for testing at own expense. Choose whichever processing field office is most convenient. Time frame, screening process is dependent upon submission of all application materials, overall application volume, and current needs of the FBI. Step 2. Phase 1 Test Three-hour computerized test consisting of five assessments, logic-based reasoning, figural reasoning, personality assessment, preferences and interests, and situational judgment. Time frame, once invited, you will have 21 days to schedule and complete your Phase 1 test. You will receive a notification if you passed within one hour after completing the test. Step 3. Meet and Greet Session Slash Review Process Typically conducted by your Processing Field Office, PFO. One or more evaluators will conduct an in-person review of your application and validate the information you submitted. Your information will then be evaluated to assess your competitiveness for Phase 2. 
Time frame, average time frame for a candidate to move from phase 1 to phase 2 is 16 weeks. Step 4, physical fitness test. Pass the physical fitness test, PFT, with a minimum score of 9 points. Minimum score required in 3 of the events and no less than a 0 in any one event. Training doesn't stop there. You will be required to take the PFT again and achieve a minimum score within 120 days before you report to the BFTC. Step 5, Phase 2 Test Consists of a writing assessment and a structured interview conducted by a panel of three special agents. Time frame, you will receive your cumulative Phase 2 results within two weeks of completing both portions of the test. Step 6, Conditional Appointment Offer Issued after successfully completing and passing the Phase 2 test and the PFT. Hiring is contingent upon successful completion of the remaining SAS components, including the polygraph examination test, medical evaluation, and background investigation. Time frame, candidates will receive their CAO shortly after passing the Phase 2 writing assessment and interview. Step 7, Background Investigation. Complete a background investigation to obtain a top-secret SCI clearance. Includes a personnel security interview, PSI, polygraph examination, drug test, fingerprinting, and medical examination. Also includes credit and arrest checks, interviews with associates and references, and verification of educational achievements. Time frame, average background investigation takes approximately 6 months, but can take up to 18 months or more depending on where an applicant has lived, worked, and traveled. Step 8, Prequantico Physical Fitness Test Demonstrate physical readiness to perform law enforcement duties by successfully completing the PFT. Qualify for the BFTC by completing another PFT within 120 days before scheduled arrival. Step 9, Basic Field Training Course Prepare with foundational knowledge, skills, and abilities to perform the job of special agent upon graduation. Curriculum includes lessons in various areas, such as firearms, defensive tactics, interview and interrogation, and human intelligence. Consists of multiple practical exercises centered around a simulated investigation. Must also demonstrate physical readiness to perform duties by completing at least one PFT, which entails scoring a minimum of 12 total points with at least one point earned in each event during BFTC. Time frame, BFTC lasts 16 weeks, including orientation, and typically notified two to four weeks in advance of class date. Step 10, Career Placement. Upon successful completion of BFTC, officially join the FBI as a special agent. Assigned a location at one of the 56 field offices located across the country upon completion of the BFTC. Generally not assigned to the same location that your application was processed out of. As you can see, becoming an FBI special agent is an exciting and challenging career path that requires dedication, hard work, and a commitment to serving your country. If you have a passion for public service and are willing to put in the time and effort to succeed, then the FBI wants you. Remember, no matter what obstacles you may face, never give up on your dream of becoming a special agent. With perseverance and determination, you can make it happen. Now, I will show you a training video that gives you a glimpse into what the training at Quantico looks like. You will get a sense of the physical and mental challenges that aspiring special agents must face and overcome to succeed in this demanding field. Additionally, I will showcase a video of a retired special agent sharing his experience working for the FBI. You will hear firsthand about the rewards and challenges of being an FBI special agent and what it takes to succeed in this exciting career. What we'll do is if they're there, we'll pull them out into the staircase outside. We'll clear that first room and gain a good foothold in that in that first uh, in that first room, and then we'll kind of use that as uh, both a casualty collection point and a detail. Many of the students here find the law enforcement skills portion of our training very demanding. We want to closely replicate what we think people are going to see in the field. FBI, search warrant, open the door.
our technical instructors here uh, look to develop scenarios based off of real cases. So a scenario over in Hogan's Alley, which is where our technical training is conducted, is going to closely mirror what our instructors have seen during their experiences. Hogan's Alley has been here 30 years. It's something that kind of bonds all agents who've come through. Um, you know, we have a bank, we have a pawn shop, we have a pool hall, we have houses, we have um, a hotel as well. So all different scenarios hit different venues. Um, and it really makes it very realistic. Hogan's Alley is really for us where rubber meets the road. You encounter scenarios that you might have seen on TV, except for it feels real different when you're in when you're in it and the way you respond, the, the movements that you make, um, kind of the muscle memory that they start to teach you. The scenarios we've developed are all from actual agent cases and, and uh, events that have occurred. They have to arrest fugitives, they have to do surveillance. Um, and use all the techniques that we give them in the first three meetings here. So it's invaluable for them. This is the most important, uh, most realistic, and, and prepares them the most for what they're gonna see out in the field. It's important to note that the training video only provides a brief glimpse of what the Quantico Academy entails for aspiring FBI special agents. There will be many more challenges to face and opportunities to learn and grow as you pursue this exciting career. Additionally, I will showcase the experience of a retired FBI special agent who will share their first-hand account of what it takes to succeed in this field. This will give you a better understanding of the demands and rewards of being an FBI special agent and inspire you to pursue your career goals with passion and perseverance. Hello, my name is Edward Arias. I am a retired FBI agent. I served with the FBI for about 22 years. Uh, when I retired, I got this job. I am currently the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force Commander for the state of Hawaii. We cover Guam, Saipan, American Samoa, and all the Hawaiian Islands. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is considered the primary law enforcement of the United States. It has the most jurisdiction of any agency in the United States, and it will investigate everything from terrorism, counterintelligence, cyber, uh, which is like hacking. Uh, it'll investigate police departments. It'll even investigate the President of the United States. So the widest range of investigative capabilities. I was an FBI agent for about 22 years. I came in the FBI early in 1996 and ended up retiring uh, at the end of 2017. Unfortunately, in the FBI and in all federal law enforcement agencies, there is a maximum age of 57. So in 2017, I hit uh, 57 years old and I had to retire. Well, you know, I've always, my whole life, been interested in helping people and I realized that one of the best ways to do that is in law enforcement. I looked at all the different law enforcement agencies and realized that the FBI is the primary law enforcement agency of the United States and probably the best way to make the biggest difference. The other thing was I, I found out that the FBI was desperate for pilots and I'm a pilot. So I actually came into the FBI because I'm a pilot. And I thought it would be great to have a career where I could not only be in law enforcement but fly. What did you do before you joined the FBI? So when I graduated from Fordham University, I went into the Marine Corps. My goal was to be a pilot, to be an astronaut. That's what always my, my goal has been. Uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps, I started working uh, as an engineer. I worked on the B-2 bomber. I worked on the U-2 spy plane. I still wanted to be an astronaut, so I moved over and started working on NASA-type projects. I actually got to work at the Goddard Space Flight Center uh, in Maryland and even got even got to work on a space shuttle mission. What was the most interesting case you've ever worked on? When I was a cyber supervisor here in the Honolulu division, uh, we had a case where a Russian individual 
living in Spain was creating these bots and these are malicious software that runs on your computer and what it was doing was it was stealing money and information from all these computers. He had a network and so we were able to get the Spanish police to arrest him. My agents participated in that and for that we won the top award from the FBI. The, this is awarded by the director of the FBI and it only goes to one squad in the entire FBI out of all the field offices. There are 56 field offices and this one is for the top cyber award for 2013. What was the most famous case you've ever worked on? Well I was lucky graduating from the FBI Academy I was sent to the New York field office. All the cases were, were big in the New York field office. So in terrorism when I got to New York, I got to work on TWA 800. That was the plane going to France that blew up. I got to work the African bombing, which was the in Kenya and Tanzania, terrorists tried to blow up the embassies there. And of course, the biggest case was 9-11. I was in New York 9-11, saw the second plane go into the building. Uh, we worked that case for months, and I was honored to be part of that investigation. When you see movies like Judas and the Black Messiah, how do you reconcile with the past and current reputation of the FBI? There's no doubt that the FBI in the past violated people's rights. I mean, that's one of the, one of the major problems with the FBI in the past. There was a church commission that happened in Congress in 1984, and they acknowledged that investigating Martin Luther King and Malcolm X was illegal. They didn't have a reason to do that. So they came out with what's called the Attorney General Guidelines. And as a supervisor, I made sure that my agents were following the Attorney General Guidelines. You just can't open up an investigation on someone that you don't like. You have to follow the law. If you had to advise your younger self, would you still join the FBI? I would. It's been a really good career. I got to do things that I wouldn't have done ordinarily. Got to investigate really interesting cases. I got to travel the world. I got to fly as a professional pilot. I still fly with the FBI. I'm currently a what's called a task force officer, which is I'm a state officer, but I swore in to the FBI so I get federal authority. And they still let me fly, which is great. My name is Veronica Duzon, and I'm a Maryland attorney for the last 20 years, and I'm married to a former FBI agent. What was it like to be married to an FBI agent? Well, it's like any other profession, but I must admit it was a tight-knit community and I enjoyed socializing with the other family members and wives. Can you tell me about three events that stood out to you that reminds you that you're married to an FBI agent? Well, of course. The first one was when he graduated from the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. The family and friends, we were given a tour of the beautiful campus, and all I kept thinking about was the movie Silence of the Lambs when uh, Jodie Foster also graduated from the FBI Academy. Well the second one was much more serious because it involved 9-11. My husband worked in New York City and we still lived in Maryland. We just moved into a brand new home with my two month old son. The morning of 9-11 my husband called me and said turn on CNN. When we turned on CNN that's when we found out a plane just struck one of the Twin Towers in New York. And, and unfortunately, it happened to be the North Tower where my sister worked. So for the next six hours, we were in panic mode trying to figure out and locate my sister. My husband was able to contact me and try to keep me calm during that time. But it, I wasn't calm until I finally heard from my sister. And that's when she told me she was in the building up until 10 minutes right before it collapsed. So luckily, she got home with no problem. My husband afterwards worked at the 9-11 investigation. The final event was when he received the Director's Award back in 2013. It was an honor to be there with other family members and friends and I couldn't have been more proud and happy for him. Can you tell me anything about your life which you have not already mentioned? I had the uh, opportunity to become an instructor at the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia. So that's where, when you get hired, that's where you go to train to become an FBI agent. It, 16 weeks was the length of the academy at the time. I think it's up to 21 weeks now. And they teach you everything. They teach you defensive tactics. They teach you how to shoot. They teach you the law, uh, 
how to do a rest, that kind of thing. And I was honored to be able to teach there. I also had the opportunity to teach not only within the United States, but internationally. So I would go to Thailand four or five times a year to teach at an academy called International Law Enforcement Academy, ILEA. I've been to Hong Kong, uh, Philippines, uh, Australia. I've been almost all over the world, Spain. So it was great. I love teaching and it was good to have that opportunity. The video featuring the retired FBI Special Agent Edward Arias offers valuable insight into the realities of working as an FBI Special Agent. Hearing about their experiences and challenges can help applicants better prepare for the demands of the job. Furthermore, I hope the video has served as an inspiration to those watching, motivating them to pursue their aspirations of becoming an FBI Special Agent. With a strong work ethic, unwavering dedication, and a fervent desire to serve their country, applicants can successfully achieve their goal of joining the ranks of the FBI. Thank you for watching this video about how to become an FBI Special Agent. I hope this information has given you a better understanding of the rigorous hiring process and the demands of the job. Remember, becoming an FBI Special Agent requires dedication, hard work, and a commitment to serving your country. If you have a passion for public service and a desire to make a difference, then the FBI wants you. I also hope that hearing from retired Special Agent Edward Arias has inspired you to pursue your dreams and given you a sense of what it's like to work in the Bureau. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Thank you again for watching, and best of luck in your journey to becoming an FBI Special Agent.